Hello. Today I would like to talk uh, more about um, health from a traditional point of view of uh, Slavs. How to restore your health and what do you need to do? Um, my name is Oksana Marozo and I am an instructor of uh, Slavic gymnastic and a Slavic traditional massage called Latki. I would like to express my gratitude to my teacher, Arina Nikitina, for the knowledge, um, for the whole scheme of uh, health from a traditional point of view of Slav that I've studied from her. Of course, some parts of it um, you can find actually everywhere, but such a whole picture you can find only from her. So, what is um, health or Zdrava in a traditional point of view of Slavs? It doesn't consist only body. It consists of a lot of um, stuff that is um, part of our being, such as um, body health, soul health, and health of the spirit. So body health, it's um, in uh, uh, Slavic, uh, um, in a Russian language, is called Stravatiela, and it consists of um, several uh, things, such as Strava. Strava is not only about uh, nutrition, it's like conscious cooking and conscious um, preparation of food for your being that is... Um, like uh, taking into consideration um, uh, types of food, um, elements, and a lot of e issues. Uh, then it is Dvizhulia, it's a conscious physical therapy, uh, which is like uh, includes a lot of Slavic gymnastics. And I, I would like to tell you that uh, Slavic gymnastics is not only about physical it's also a lot consists of uh, from uh, soul and um, uh, spirit such as um, like for example if you do some slavic gymnastic you take into consideration your breathing you um, sometimes you clean up your soul from some emotions or you fill up with a joy. Um, also, like um, Strava Tela or body health consists of Zileistva, which is healing with herbs. Of course, I, I think you should know about it, which is like also how to use uh, herbs in your food and get nutrition from them. And um, yeah, it also includes latki, which is a conscious massage. And I would like to add that uh, latki is a very um, different massage from what we can find in everyday life. Nowadays, if you go to massagist, he usually just massage your body. <laughs> but like Latki is not only about your body. It's also like sometimes at the same time when you do Latki, you do Kristine, uh, which is cleaning of your mind. Or um, he, <laughs> the person who is doing Latki, he sometimes doing Vargani with you or Svarga, which is setting goals. So uh, Latki it's very conscious um, way of doing massage. I can do latki and I can uh, do others people and it's like uh, remarkable how people changed not only on the body level but also on the soul and spirit after this massage. Also like a uh, strava uh, health consists of uh, Soul health, which is um, Krasenia, cleaning of your mind. Yeah, in Krasenia, you can find a lot of uh, different uh, things. And I've presented uh, some techniques of Krasenia in my 
course, uh, which you can find in Udemy. Mm -hmm. Slavic witchcraft, how to clear your mind using your power of elements. Also in a uh, soul health, you can find Rodenia, filling your soul with joy. Of course, after cleaning your mind, your soul, it's important to fill up the empty space with joy and happiness. Uh, Zdrava Duha, health of the spirit, is including Svarga, setting goals. Quite often, um, if you have some disease, uh, it happens because you don't understand your goals, your mission in life. And this part of um, uh, Slavic uh, health, uh, Slavic Strava, is uh, about it. Varganya is a healing with sounds or words. Like you use different sounds, it can be also spells to help uh, the person to restore his own health. I don't know how to express it, but it's something about moving sound around your body and healing this part of the body. And striba, which is conscious breathing. So, like, you couldn't, in Slavic tradition, you couldn't uh, use only one part of the health to become healthy. You need to do, consider uh, all the parts. Like, uh, for example, it was good to do something. If you want to be healthy, it's good to do every day something for your health, uh, body health, soul health, and health of the spirit. Um, uh, like, for example, today you did uh, some Slavic gymnastics. Then you, of course, do some Christiania, which is cleaning of the mind, and you think about your goals. Tomorrow you can change and use the different things. It's a complex system, and I like it, and sometimes it includes, uh, like uh, in uh, Zrava Tela, which is body health, it includes... Uh, like in Latke, for example, it includes also soul health and health of the spirit while you get Latke, uh, Slavic massage, or Zileistva, which is like when you connect with the herb, you feel the herb, you try to understand the herb, and you consider which type of the day you want to collect the herb, for what purpose, you, you try to be conscious with your herb that you are collecting and strava it's like unique thing uh, which is uh, like uh, not about healthy um, eating it's also about uh, like conscious cooking and conscious eating and understanding how you ca actually correct a, a soul using your eating it's very deep system, and um, I found pa some parts of it from different uh, Slavic uh, healers, and uh, I like this scheme because it's full. It express the whole the whole attitude towards your health. It was no looking at the health from one point of view. Everything. Every single part is important for your well-being. Uh, soul health, it's important to have a, a good, strong body. Um, right now, psychologists proved what to the Slavs were known before, that um, uh, soul, mm, uh, if you have some problems with your health, that means you have some problems with some part of emotion. And in Slavic tradition, <clears throat> people knew about this before. 
Uh, of course, also um, health of spirit is also very important. And sometimes people like just don't want to live. Just like doesn't matter what they don't have any more goals. They don't have. They don't feel any sense for living. So they decide to go away. And this part is also very important. You couldn't remove any of the part for your well-being from this chart. Thank you for your attention. And I hope this information was helpful to you. And um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.